What's good with y'all? It's Cam bringing another video straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Let's hop right into the video, man. So one of my Discord members went ahead and sent this to me. They said that I should react to it. Uh, it looked like from what I skimmed through, these dudes is going to be dating this one girl and they're going to see who has the best game. So we're going to go ahead and, and, and see who really got the best game. But we're going to see who's the, the Rizzler, the real Rizzler. You know what I'm saying? So um without further ado i'm not gonna hold y'all up too long let's hop right into it man so i'm assuming this is the female they're gonna be spitting games too Hi, nice to meet you. i know the volume probably a little bit low my fault Hi. now offer it bro don't think anything goes over my head bro check this out Hi, nice to meet you. What's I already started with a cool little hug, you know what I'm saying? A cool little half hug, you know, one arm. You know, that's okay for an introductory, but the important thing is, uh, the, the important thing is that the touch barrier has already been broken. So this is already looking like it's going to be a W for bro. Um, he's probably pretty confident. A lot of y'all would probably go for, you know what I'm saying, a, a dap up or something like that, or, or you just wouldn't even get up at all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be so nervous that y'all wouldn't even get up out the seat. Um, but this is cool right here, a hug, you know what I'm saying? Another valid form of a hello could be a handshake too. But either way, you want to make sure that on intro, you are breaking the touch barrier as soon as possible because that is what gets women comfortable with you. Okay, how's she going to be comfortable with you and you ain't even touched her a single time yet? You over here looking nervous. And the thing is, if a woman is attracted to you, she wants you to break that touch barrier. She wants you to do it. A lot of the times though, you don't do it because you're scared. You're nervous. You got to get over that nervousness, bro. So let's keep it pushing. Let's see how it goes. Started off great. Oh, come on. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. How's your journey? It's good to be fair. James is starting to the first day. Yeah. But I'm starting off right. How's your day been? You know what? You know? Now, this is the thing, bro. I'm glad that he came off confidently. That's great. But let's go ahead and analyze bro's looks because we understand that looks is the most important thing with attractive women. It's the thing that gets you in the door. So bro got braids going multiple directions that's hanging down, but he also got the taper in the front. And I ain't gonna, I don't know, maybe he tilted his head and look a little bit crooked, but bro got the taper in the front with the braids. Now, personally, bro, I would never, never let this slide. If one of my homies ever had a haircut like this, I would never let it slide. I know a lot of y'all be having the taper in front of the dreads or a taper in front of the braids. It doesn't look that great, bro. I'm just being real with you, bro. It doesn't look that great. Right. And it's going to keep getting pushed back and pushed back farther and farther and farther and farther until the point where it's like your head, your braids is going to start starting on the back of your head, the middle and the back of your head, bro. I'm telling you right now, this to me is not a valid hairstyle. Um, now, he sounds like he's from the UK or something like that, from Europe, foreign, you know what I'm saying? So maybe women like a different kind of hairstyle from black dudes over there. But in the US, I'm not going to lie, this would not fly. You go anywhere with this haircut, bro. This is not flying, bro. You you kind of look like you you belong in a movie from like 2008. Look like you belong on on like Mike or something like that. But you got a taper. I don't know, bro. Let's keep it pushing. Yeah. Well, I'm still out of right. okay. How's your day? You know what? You know. How old are you? I'm 22. Is it? Yeah. How, how old do you think I'm? You look young, but I'd say like 24, 25. All right. Cool little conversation right here. Now this is the thing I wanted to note on. Women and age is always a dangerous game. Anytime a woman says you look young, that's automatically a sign that she may not have high interest in you. Now, this isn't 100% of the time, but I'm telling you that that is a sign. And the reason why is because women typically like older men. They like more mature men. Why? Because it gives them a better sense of security. It makes them, it, it makes you seem more masculine, more dominant. You're better suited to uh, be a protector or provider for the woman. So obviously, if she thinks that you look young, then that's going to be an L for you most times. But she said that he looked 24, 25, so it should be all good. But I'm just letting y'all know that that is a trap, all right? If you are a young dude out here, you 17, 18, 19 years old, you're talking to older women, Beware that, bro, because I promise you they will use that against you. And then they, then it's going to be, oh, you're such a baby. It doesn't matter what you say from that point on because they've automatically ruled you out. They don't even think that you, that you like, they don't view you as masculine. Very few women will actually go forward with you after you tell them uh, how young you are, if you're younger than them. Very, very few women, bro. I'm just being honest. That is a trap question right there. But seemed like the conversation is going smooth. He asked how her day was going. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't have too much else to say about the convo itself. Really? Yeah. Nah, 21. I ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're young. You're not that young. 22, 21. There that goes. <laughs> it's not that bad. You have really nice eyes, by the way. Thank you. It's like the hazel brown. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking directly in your eyes and I'm seeing them. I need yeah. my nice smile. Yeah. <laughs> I want my drinking. Uh, yeah. Apple juice. Really? Now, here's the thing about giving compliments like that, bro. That whole exchange was mad awkward. And the reason that it was mad awkward is because he just gave her two compliments about her eyes and her smile, and he didn't get one back. She said, thank you, and she didn't say nothing back about him whatsoever. That's why validating off rip like this never works. It never works. All it does is gas her ego, doesn't make you a gentleman. You know what I'm saying? You can be a gentleman and not compliment and validate in that way. If you really wanted to say something about her eyes or her smile, you could have said something like kind of jokey. You could have been like, oh, okay, you smiling a lot. You must be nervous. That's cool. You know what I mean? Like you could have come up with something like that. Or you could have just been like, okay, I like the eye contact you got going on. I just came up with that off the fly. But never be direct like, oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you have a great smile, great eyes. Because it's a very shallow compliment. Doesn't really mean much. And kind of just makes you look like you're just everybody else. You added no value with those compliments. You know what I'm saying? It kind of makes you seem like, oh, he ain't got nothing else to say. It can even come across as nervous to some women. Either way, it's never a good outcome when you validate in such a way, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't even get no 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 compliment back. She didn't say, oh, I like what you got on. I like this. I like that. She didn't even say nothing back. She just said, thank you. And then just kind of awkwardly started moving on to the next subject. This right here is automatically a sign that it's not going to go well. So he's already younger than her. Yeah. And we got that. Uh, uh, that's established. And we also have it established that he's complimenting and she ain't giving no compliments back. So I ain't going to lie. This is not looking great. You know what I'm saying? This isn't looking too hot. Bit nervous, that's all. Yeah, you're making me nervous. nervous. Yeah. <sighs> now, as y'all can probably tell, I'm trying to stay calm this video. I got a little bit of a headache. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stay calm this video, but this guy is really testing me. He's getting my blood pressure high. How are you going to tell a girl that you are nervous on the first day? How are you going to do it with the... <laughs> Bro, this is not game. You don't tell a girl that you're nervous. Like, and that, that's just with anything. Imagine going into a job interview and be like, oh, yeah, I'm just a bit nervous. Like, bro, of course they're not going to hire you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with a date. Same thing with a girl. Why would you tell a girl, you're making me nervous? You're making me nervous. That's worse than validating. Now she now she in the power position. Now it's like, dang, well, what, well, why should I get with you? Why should I give you a chance? You're not even confident in yourself. And we could tell that she's confident in herself. Look at the way that she walked in. Hold on. Let's remember I'm at 235. But let's go back to the way that she even walked in. You could tell she's confident. Look at what she's wearing. Check this out, bro. Check this out. Look at the way she's walking in. She walking in with the, 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 she got the baddie walk going on. You know what I'm saying? So how are you going to tell a girl with that high of an ego that you nervous, bro? This isn't going nowhere, bro. That you, that's three strikes, bro. You out. Because you're very good looking, you yeah? know? Yeah, really. yeah. There you go. He get a compliment back now. She probably felt bad. Three. T it took three compliments and him saying that he was nervous around her for her to say you're not too bad yourself. Crazy to me. Crazy to me. Got an Apple Watch on with the ice on your wrist, bro. How are you gonna be nervous when you got ice on your wrist and an Apple Watch on, bro? You know what I'm saying? You're not fitting what you're wearing. You're not. See, this is what I'll be talking about. It's not about what you wear. It's how you wear it. How is you going to have an Apple Watch on? You got, you know what I mean? That the, the the little Cuban bracelet with the chain on, you know what I'm saying? You 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 confident and all, you know what I'm saying? All that. Or are you 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 portraying as if you are a confident guy about, based off what you're wearing. But you talking about you nervous around this girl. You talking about, oh, you so pretty, you beautiful, whatever. No game whatsoever. I thought it was going to go well because he, 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 he hugged her in the, in the very beginning. I thought he was breaking the touch barrier. But maybe that was just more of a nervous hug than anything. I should have knew because he hugged her with one arm, too. I should have caught that, bro. First day, what do you do for a living? Um, I work in the hospital. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm a nurse. Okay. Yeah, so I'm a That means she has an OF account. That means she's an IG model with an OF account. And then I do like a little side hustle. Which is Legal? Legal. Oh, no, because when you said side hustle, wasn't it? No, no, yeah. not like that. Yeah. No, 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 it's, um, you know, I'm a strip girl, so. Oh, She's a what? It's, um, you know, I'm a strip girl, so. Oh, a stripper. A stripper. <laughs>
<laughs> that's crazy to me. Yeah, see, I told y'all. I could just tell. I could tell that she's in that type of field. You know what I'm saying? Just based off what she wear, her whole vibe, her whole energy. You know what I'm saying? This is the thing, but the conversation isn't even a bad conversation. He's asking cool questions. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing, nothing bad. It doesn't seem like an interrogation. It's just his whole demeanor. If his demeanor was more confident, this conversation could go way better. And you know what? I'm very glad that we that we are watching this because a lot of y'all conversations with women go like this. The problem isn't necessarily what you're saying. It's more how you're saying it. And this is an ex this is a perfect example of what I mean. If he was more confident in, in himself and wasn't constantly validating and talking about he's nervous around her and all this other BS, then he would be having a way better convo with her. She might even be taller than him now that I'm looking. I don't know. But also look at the way that he's sitting, right? I could just tell, like, look, he covering his mouth. You know what I'm saying? He's sitting like these. If you want to portray confidence to the person that you're talking to, sit back in your chair. You know what I'm saying? Keep your arms low. Keep your chest exposed. You know what I mean? Look at how she's sitting. She's sitting more confident than him, dang near, bro. But obviously, that's a given because she's a female. She got a high ego. But also, you, you just got to be, you all got to pick up on this stuff, bro. I talked about all this before, bro. Body language and demeanor is the number one thing, bro. Confidence is not something that you speak into existence. It's something that you act out. It's your actions that have to be confident. You know what I'm saying? Not your words. Because words can be anything. Anyone can sit up here and say nice words. Anyone can say pickup lines and seduction lines and whatever. That's why none of that really matters. It's really your, it's really your demeanor, bro. You know what I'm saying? And right now, bro doesn't have the greatest demeanor. Oh, shit. Slide to the side. Yeah. Cut, cut the cameras. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Swear <laughs> no. what, what's it like being the, in the UK? Because obviously the US is like the big... It's yeah. not that big. It's not that great, to be fair. I mean, like, it's better, like... Around Listen, bro. I'm just gonna be all the way 100% honest with y'all, bro. I'm gonna keep it all the way real with y'all, bro. And this is no disrespect to this woman whatsoever, bro. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to her. I hope that she finds God. I hope that she stops stripping and gets like an actual job or, or does something else. But you know what? I ain't even gonna say it. Forget it, bro. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Uh -huh. Forget but it. during the summer, it's very quiet. So really? it just kind of don't really go in. Never, but, been, um, never been before, you know? Yeah. Never been to before. So what are you saying? You're a proper dancer. I can do that for myself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do that for myself, I just, you know, like, about like five years ago, I was like trying to like do it to work and I was just doing this, my back, popping it. Mm, so now you can And now it's just like, you know, movement. I know myself, so I can just control it, you know? That's how it is. Can I see you after, off camera? Just, just for, just for research. The only way something like that would work. He said, can I see you after off camera? Very forward move right there. Only way that would work is if the whole thing was going well. But now you just look kind of weird. You just look thirsty. You just another thirsty dude. You know what I'm saying? Just another thirsty kid to her. She has no respect for you. I could just tell like, you know what I'm saying? There's no tension in this conversation at all. At all. This is just a friendly conversation. That's why I ain't said nothing in the last minute. Because what else am I supposed to comment on? This is not a flirting tension conversation bro ain't no sexual tension in this whatsoever bro this is a friendly convo this dude if he was actually trying to date her would get put straight in the friend zone if that if that if i'm being honest with you uh, i think about it you think about yeah. it depends on his dating i'll think yeah. about it oh, look at her yeah. demeanor too like look at like if a girl ever starts smiling, yeah you know like like you could just tell like her face like she's not feeling him like that <laughs> it's like very condescending bro pick up on these things bro and it's okay bro look not everyone is is gonna have game at all times bro even guys that you think might have crazy game or or whatever or is the most confident sometimes they're off it sometimes bro so it's okay that he didn't do well this time bro it's okay that he's not killing it right now you know what i'm saying i'm just trying to pick up things so i could show y'all what i'm talking about when you're talking to females what i think the vibe's fine enough right yeah. We're making good eye contact. That's very important. <laughs> Don't you think that's important? It's very important. Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. Usually I can't do it, but I teach myself. Or you just can't take your eyes off me. <laughs> I'm making you laugh. Yeah, it's like a. It's like he's picking, but yeah, man, uh, he's picking it up now because he's probably a little bit less nervous. But at this point, bro, you've already established the fact that you're not that confident. You've already established the fact that like. You know, you nervous around her. You've already, like, that's the number one turn off of females. You being nervous and not confident, you know what I'm saying? And then over-validating, all of that, bruh. 
it's out the window. It's dead in the water now. Nervous laugh. Nervous laugh. I'm making you nervous. Yeah, just, like, just a time. She ain't nervous, bro. You can just tell. I'm half Asian, half Australian. Australian? Yeah. Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, Aussie, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Who the next person, bro? Because y'all going on way too long, bro. Who the next guy, dude? Thank you. Look, look, I can tell. Like, look, like, check this out. Notice how, like, he got up and immediately went for the hug, but she ain't even go to hug back. I didn't even need to watch the rest of the combo. I could already tell. Friend zone. Yeah, Next. She want to flex with the packing. So, Kiki, mm -hmm. how did it go? What's your thoughts? <laughs> I think it went all right. You know, um, he seems like a nice guy, but... Yep, there it is. He seems like a nice guy, but... Uh, but, 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 but friend zone. All right, bro. Next. 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 Next, I ain't got time for all this. We gonna do one more. This is a long video. You do this off. Uh, let me back it up. Yes. Hey, what's your name? Thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What's your name? I'm Kiki. Kiki. What's yours? Hey, what's your name? Now, <laughs> notice how the whole vibe shift. Notice the whole vibe. Sh Hold on, bro. Check this out, bro. Notice, notice, notice something, bro. Just notice this. Notice this. Notice this. Uh, I am excited. So she wanna flex with the packing. <laughs> Look at that face right there, bro. She ain't made that face a single time in the last combo, kind of bro. I can already tell off rip that at least physical attractiveness wise, she's way more into this dude than the last dude. And it's probably because the last dude had that uh like Mike uh what's the name? Who am I thinking of, bro? Bro had the little bow wow cut with a taper, you know what I'm saying? With braids instead of cornrows. So yeah, bro. I'm already telling you, off rip, bro, she's more attracted to this dude. Not saying that she's super attracted to him, but at least more than the last guy. Let's see how it goes. This guy seems like he's way more confident. Let's see what goes on, bro. Uh, I'm a freelance model. Um, okay. Yeah, but looks like I have someone inside. Okay. What about yeah. you? Uh, me, I'm a personal trainer. Okay. And notice how she asking questions, too. She's asking questions back. Bro swag. Got the two strand twist going, piercings, regular black shirt, got the little chin strap going on. All right, something light. So I'm working in gym and shit, I'm private gym, train clients every day, throughout the week and something like that. So yeah. Do you enjoy it? No, it's good still. I enjoy going to the gym and everything as well. But my thing as well, I got you a little satin just before I did. So it's almost like I'm going to go grab it here. I have no idea what they just said, bro. I ain't gonna lie, the accent a little bit too heavy. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what he just said. These men are not even gonna cheat. Did bro just bring her? I thought that this dude was gonna be. All right, bro. This can go one of two ways. We already know that she has some level of attraction just based on the look, just based on the immediate vibe. But is it good enough for him to give a rose to her? Because if she's not feeling him that much, if he's not past a certain threshold, this ain't gonna go well, bro. Let's see how it goes, bro. It can go up or it can go down, bro. Your hand is not. That's so sick. Thank you. That's why nice, bro. Yeah, that's why nice. I can't lie to you. I'm fucking with the feet, so got your toes on the lap. You like them? I like feet, man, so I can't lie. Okay. I'm seeing his feet, so. Like sucking toes and stuff. This thing talking about feet and sucking toes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know it is? If it's the right feet, then you might forget run so I can't lie. I'm just serious feet, man. So I can't lie to you. I'm fucking with your feet. So. Okay. And she had your toes on me. Uh, like a week. Did bro just cut on her feet? Yeah, I'm just serious. Yeah, she had your toes on me. 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 Never mind, bro. I thought bro had it in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Maybe I was wrong this time, bro. I thought bro had it in the beginning. But not only did you give her a flower and all she said was thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was a very end reaction. Then you start talking about her feet. Yeah. Again, this is only something that a 9 out of 10 can pull off successfully. And she probably had some interest in the beginning, but it's like I could almost slowly see the interest leaving because this is getting very weird. You talk about her feet, giving her a rose. And this could have gone so much better. He has so much potential. 
few ago. Okay. Um, I used to try and get them done like two to four weeks, you know, but it's looking all right. Like, not looking too bad. Just like, you know. His body language is a little bit better, though. Yeah. Except he's crossing his arms, sign of insecurity. Yeah, I'm a How about this? How much are you paid to get your feet done with that? Uh, so I think it's about 50 for my hands mm -hmm. and about 30 for my toes, about 18. Depends on how this goes. Mm -hmm. Next time you're making off a pay for this. Did this dude just offer to pay for her? All right, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to shut this off because this is pissing me off, bro. Like, I'm trying to stay calm. I have a headache, bro. But y'all is pissing me off. You talk. Okay. Oh my gosh, bro. Y'all UK dudes. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all don't got it, bro. Y'all don't got it, bro. Y'all need to, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all gotta turn up, bro. Cause you be complimenting too much. You talking about her feet. You gave her a rose. Talking about I'ma pay for your nails. What are you, a pimp? What? You don't even know her, bro. You've known her for a total of like three minutes, dude. You offering to pay for her nails, bro. And the reason why this is so important is because it's a turn off, bro. It's a turn off. I don't care how much money you got. Offering to trick a woman out is never, ever going to be a turn on. Because she's instantly going to go to logical mode. She's no longer in emotional mode. She's instantly going to go to logical mode, bruh. And so when she goes to logical mode, now she's thinking, okay, I can basically run this dude for his pockets. She's not feeling you, bruh. So any kind of interest she shows from now on, she just literally going to be, bro. It's literally all for the guap, bruh. Ain't going to lie, bro. I'm trying to see. Next. Next, we just gonna look at a little bit of this next combo, and then that's it. Cause if this dude, hey, look, if this dude start validating, bro, if this dude don't know how to have a conversation with a female without you so pretty, you so beautiful, and the thing is, it ain't that hard, bro. Like, you can ask, okay, what do, okay, what do you do? I'm a freelance model, so I would be like, okay, so what does that mean? Like, detail me on that. You know what I'm saying? I would really like pick her brain, get to know her, something like that. Like, that's what you do, and then you just be confident and cool with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, it ain't that hard. Like, y'all be doing all the extras, bro. What are you going to get a rose for? Go ahead, stop. Looking clean, bro. I can't even... Shut up, Damn, what's your Come on, bro. I have to go to the back. I have to see what I can get out. But in... So I'm not saying anything. All right, here we go. For the rose. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What's your name? My name's Reese. Thank you. Kiki. That's a nice thing to talk. Thank you. That's a nice thing if we could start off there. Thank you. We'll talk. So, yeah, general interest. Tell me about yourself. We'll do that. Um, so, I like, to be fair, I want to kind of get into acting. Mm -hmm. So, I like a bit of that. Um, not quite creative. Mm -hmm. So, I like to do like arts and craft mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So, like okay. henna mm -hmm. and. Or oh, what well, you can draw it. Yeah? I can, a little bit. I used to do hair on my thighs. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, do you have any tattoos? No. Do you want to get any? Maybe. What would you get? Uh, I'd probably get like a lion face. Yeah. Because... Okay, all right, this is going smooth. He hasn't validated nothing like that yet. But one thing I would say is, though, you don't want to get into interrogation mode, all right? Don't get into asking questions just rapidly. Oh, uh, do you have any tattoos? What would you get? Blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just slow down. Let her fully answer. You know what I'm saying? Like, let her talk. You know what I'm saying? Do you have any tattoos? I feel like, oh, okay, for sure. Uh, would you get one? And if so, like, what would you get? Like, let her, let, like, slow down. Slow down. Don't be so nervous. Because all these dudes are probably nervous. All of them. And they probably nervous because she got the, if we being honest. The Lion King. Oh, so it's, it's, it's Kiara, but I'm Kiki. Wait, which one? Friend. Which one's that? Who's that? It's the Lion, the, King, yeah. the Lion King. 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 The Lion you want to see I'm it? Like, you want to stand down? Yeah, do you remember what can we get? 360? <laughs> huh? Can you can do? Yeah. This is me? Yeah. Oh, but I think that's the, that wasn't really the book. Okay, so so far, this is the best dude, but like... Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, All right, Okay. What? Hella unnecessary, but I'm going to let it slide, though. I'm going to let it slide, because he hasn't done as bad as the other two. Hey, um, well, you look nice. Still, I told you as well. I'm 5'6". You're 5'6". Yeah. Okay. That's what he is. I'm 6'4". Wow, okay. I'm 6'4". Right. Yeah. Instant turn on.
Cool. Basketball? Yeah, I used to. Well, I used to play. I used to. I'm not gonna come on there. I'm a knee injury. Not nothing like that. But I used Dang. to try. I want to. I want to some general things. Like how many exes you have? Um, probably like four. You've had four. Cap. And the reason I say cap is because she's thinking about. <laughs> she's probably thinking about the relationships that she wants to acknowledge. Fellas, when it comes to body count. And when it comes to amount of relationships, most women are lying. Whenever, whenever I tell y'all 80% of women is they, they, they undateable, this is an 80% woman. Stay away from this. I can tell you right now, for, it's cap. Cap. I know she's been in more relationships. But they probably just don't count to her. Right? Okay. Yeah. I'm all, what, what would you say was the main reason why they? What are you obviously they're not going now, but mm -hmm. what, what would you say was the main reason why they? We're gone. Yeah. Uh, what was the, the problem? Oh, there's a lot of problems. I think what I realised is yeah. men are very interesting creatures. Yeah. And um, okay. most of them, not all, so not yeah. pointing fingers, yeah. but they obviously like to sometimes take advantage mm -hmm. or just like use them for one one thing mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. embed now i'm gonna say this bro and this is gonna be my closing comments because this is getting long i'm not gonna say that a man has never done her wrong in fact a man probably has done her wrong that's why she became a scribble and is an ig hoe but to sit here and say that all your relationships ended because they did you wrong is cap let's be honest you're an ig hoe self-admittedly self-admittedly so, with that being said, that means you are living your life in lust. So, to sit here and say that none of that was your fault, why them relationships ended, yeah, all right. I'm pressing X to doubt. I don't believe you. I'm not saying you cheated, but I don't know, dog. Because we all know how this goes. You date a woman like this, you get burned. You get burned because she wants to continue to live that lifestyle. She's deep in that lifestyle. She don't want to leave. Anyway, man. Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. My bad for the low energy, bro. I got a headache. If y'all want to see a part two of this reaction, bro, let me know in the comment section. Love y'all. I'm out of here, man. Peace.